this is a video basically for those who get an AR drone and aren't exactly sure how to get it started because when I got mine I got no instructions with it so first thing with the battery I have just the regular 1000 milliamp instead of when I first got it I will put it in this way that jumbles all these wires and makes it hard for the hole to be shut so about the second or third time I tried to fly it I turned it around like this and when you plug it in there's plenty of room I mean it gives you just enough slack now when you plug it in <clears throat> you need to push this down because each one of these is going to rotate a little to make sure that the motors working Okay, now this works via Wi-Fi. First thing you have to do is you have to download the app itself, which you go to the market and just type in AR Drone, and then you want AR Drone Free Flight 2.0. As you see, I already have it, so I'm going to open it. Uh, you gotta connect. Might be says Wi Fi. And drone. Connect. Okay, and then once you get connected, I'm connected, you wanna go back piloting a few things I want to show before I go fly it uh, here's your battery <laughs> for some reason mine says 0% but it has a full charge uh, the gear 97% 96 now the gear which I'll show that in a second your connectivity this swaps the cameras that's the VGA camera that's the front HD camera that's the button to start recording and that takes the pictures I have it in analog mode where it's uh, the call the joypad mode basically you fly it like a regular any other air, uh, RC aircraft uh, but under this is you have pairing the air drone network name interface opacity I'm not sure what that is I'm gonna look that up uh, flip I usually keep it uh, off because it eat, eats up the battery but I will show flips while we're out there uh, when it first came out you could only do a left and a right barrel roll now they've added a front and a back flip so that's pretty cool uh, when I'm outside I have everything set to the max inside I have uh, the tilt angle set all the way down so I don't slam into a wall at 35 degrees of tilt and I bring the altitude all the way down because most ceilings in America are, are about 8 to 9 feet so that's 9 feet but I keep the others the same so I can keep good control of it but we're gonna be doing outdoor flight and like I said you got joypad mode and then absolute control absolute control is no matter what the orientation of the craft is to you whichever way you tilt the pad that's which way the craft is going to go I'll show all of these out there but you take off by pressing that green button right there so let's go fly it Backflip. That 
back flip makes it the most uh, disoriented. Front flip. Here's the absolute control. You have a button and you just tilt your pad. Whichever way you tilt your pad is the way the drone's gonna go. It usually works better with uh, smaller phones instead of a pad. But I mean, still, it'll go the way you tilt it. That flips off. Like I said, it kills the battery. I like joypad mode. I feel like I can keep it under control best like that. I mean, it's a very entertaining little gift. Father's Day, I mean, you'd amaze dad with this when I got it I was absolutely amazed a uh, couple things uh, the bearings that the shafts right on for the uh, there's there's no bearings it's uh, a steel shaft against I believe either copper or brass uh, bushings you can get actual sealed bearings two by five by two millimeter bearings they're not cheap I mean well some of them are you can find them at uh, idrone.com but mine's relatively new I'm gonna get a light kit for it and the bearings the bearings make it so uh, there's less friction so you get more flight time But as you can see, it's a very neat little. I mean, like right now, I've got it set to three meters. It's not letting me go any higher than that. But watch how high this thing can actually go. I'm not going to take it that high because it's windy, but this will give you an idea. And that's maybe a third or a quarter of how high I've had it. It's just I've got trees around me and trees are the enemy because not only can it damage stuff, but it can also get stuck. Which I've gotten one stuck before and I had to throw stuff at it to get it out. But very fun little toy. And like you got non-stop video feed to your tablet of either the HD camera or if you go up high you can go to the VGA and look down at yourself again this is called the Parrot AR Drone 2.0 nice look at it right up front is the camera And then on the bottom, the two metal thing looking things are ultrasound sensors. And there's also a pressure sensor inside. Because ultrasound bouncing off the ground only works to a certain height. With the first one, the first edition, it didn't have the pressure sensor. So once you went above a certain height, you were basically flying blind. But that's about it. Uh, last thing is, I'm going to do a little quick little crash just to show what to do after one if something like that happens all you do put the thing back on set it back up make sure you're still getting video rotate everything make sure everything's still smooth axles are still straight
Yep. Take off. And there you go. Very tough. But, like I said, Parrot AR Drone 2.0.